So as we all know, marijuana is very illegal in the state of Georgia. But as of October 11th, Atlanta City Mayor Kasim Reed signed a measure supported by the city council in efforts to decriminalize. Now it takes imprisonment off the books for people caught with less than one ounce of weed and also the ordinance will also reduce any potential fine to a maximum of $75 instead of $1,000. That's the fine that you have to pay in Georgia if you caught with any amount of weed, you got to pay a $1,000 fine. Now in the city of Atlanta, this move aimed to neutralize uneven policing and enforcement of drug laws in the city where 92% where of the people arrested in the city of Atlanta for marijuana between 2014 and 2016 were African American. And in study in 2013 by the American Civil Liberties Union found that although blacks and whites use marijuana at nearly identical rates, blacks in Georgia are 3.7 times more likely than whites to be arrested for marijuana possession. Now. This punishment could essentially become like a citation, similar to a traffic ticket. You know, you don't really have to go to jail over it, long as you don't have over an ounce and you don't have your scale with you or any like multiple bags or anything like that. But under the current law, possession of marijuana within the city of Atlanta is punishable by a fine of up to a thousand dollars and imprisonment for up to six months. Uh, that's how that's how it is around the whole state of Georgia. And also two more medical marijuana proposals await Georgia lawmakers when they convene in Atlanta for their 2008 legislative session. Uh, now, as far as legalizing weed, this push is mainly for so focus in the metropolitan areas in like the cities of Georgia, you know, like Atlanta, Columbus, Augusta, believe it or not, Savannah is the fifth largest city you know, we're not the third largest, we're the fifth largest. Now, the push for legalizing weed on any level, it works on three steps. It works on the decriminalization level, it works on the medical use level, and it works on the recreational level. Now, I believe what the whole state of Georgia is trying to do is work on the decriminalization efforts for pretty much the whole state, if not mainly so in the metropolitan areas in the cities in Georgia. But there's only a few states in the United States like Nevada, Colorado, California, Maine, Massachusetts, Oregon, and Washington that have legalized recreational cannabis, uh, although the state of Georgia is so far away from recreational use. And in the state of Georgia, only people that can really get medical marijuana, because medical, medical marijuana is strictly legal for a certain amount of patients who have certain diseases or just certain illnesses. It's only legal for cancer patients, ALS patients, multiple sclerosis, uh, seizure disorders, uh, also people who have Crohn's disease, sickle cell anemia, uh, autism in the case of minors, Tourette syndrome, uh, a skin condition called epidermalis bullosa. Uh, also Alzheimer's and AIDS and also peripheral neuropathy if you have those then medical marijuana is only legal for you in the state of Georgia and you have to have this thing called CBD oil you know it's not THC it's just it's just cannabis oil for my guys that know everything about weed I don't even want to break that down to y'all but um in 2015, patients in, in the case of children, families registered with the state were granted the ability to possess up to 20 ounces of cannabis oil. And the cannabis oil is not used to make anybody get high off of it. The CBD, it may have some neuroprotective and anti-inflammatory and pain relieving properties because this was actually found from animal studies and also the CBD also is a treatment for depression, anxiety, and also for addiction. And the CBD usually comes in a, a very small bottle, like, you know those five-hour energy drinks, the little small little bottles? It really comes in that type of bottle. I've seen one, uh, seen one before not so long ago, and it had about, it didn't have no more than 5% THC. And also about obtaining a cannabis Oh, you have to be registered with the state of Georgia as far as the Georgia Department of Public Health and must have a registration card 
while possessing the oil. And if the patient is under 18 years of age, then the parent or guardian must possess a card designating them as the patient's caregiver. The medical marijuana oil must contain no more than 5% THC and it must contain an amount of CBD, that's the cannabis oil, and that is at least equal to the amount of THC. The low THC oil must be in a pharmaceutical container and the label must clearly state the percentage of THC contained inside of the bottle. The patient may possess no more than 20 fluid ounces. Now in other places in the United States, as far as Washington, D.C., uh, they passed an initiative that made it legal for adults 20 years of age or older to possess less than two ounces of marijuana. And also in Pittsburgh, they legalized it at the beginning of 2016. That makes possession of less than an ounce punishable by a $25 fine. Those caught smoking marijuana and in possession of less than an ounce face a $100 fine in Pittsburgh. And in Kansas City, uh, they voted in April, I believe, of this year to lower fines of $25 and remove jail time for possession of 35 grams of cannabis or less. You know, like I said earlier, the state of Georgia is too far away from legalizing uh, marijuana, I mean, even for recreational use. Now, what will happen more than likely, as I see what's happening with Atlanta, um, the push for it to be decriminalized is coming quite popular. I mean, most people say that the South would be one of the last places to legalize this stuff, but you gotta look at it from the people who really want it to be legal are not even just the smokers or the regular potheads. You have parents who have children who have epilepsy, who have Sometimes they just have these disorders like the ones I named earlier like some of these kids may have Tourette's and autism and that really actually helps These parents because a lot of these parents can't cope without their kids having the CBD oil You know and that's mainly for the medical use. They really want to make it legal for medical reasons because the amount of things that you can do with marijuana man is is pretty much unlimited at this point you can make paper out of it, you can make uh, rellos, you can make all types of stuff. You can, I mean, as you can see, this is there's a lot of studies that's being performed by doctors and pretty much researchers. And there's plenty of programs in the state of Georgia that's trying to make this process of weed being legal as far as decriminalization. There's a website called mpp.org and also with this website you can actually sign up for this actually push this with the legislators of the state and also the council members of the state but like I said the state of Georgia is so far away from recreational use um, I would say in the next 10 years you might see it up for recreational use throughout the whole state of Georgia but, you know, first they're going to really focus on the medical use. That's one thing I kind of love about the newer generation. Like, the newer generation knows what's effective for most people. And you got to look at it from just a bigger standpoint. Marijuana business is a multi-billion dollar industry, not millions. We're talking about billions of dollars. Multi-billion dollar business every year. You know, you got places like California are seceding pretty good off of marijuana. If pretty much if marijuana was legal uh, that could take a huge chunk out of the US debt believe it or not if we establish a lot of hemp shops or cannabis shops or whatever they call them on the West Coast if they can establish those shops like pretty much in a down south area you will see more businesses grow and not only that but I think it'll take a huge chunk out the US debt as far as obtaining cannabis oil you have to be like I say you have to be registered with the Georgia Department of Health but there's no there's no legal website to actually get this oil off of you get what I'm saying like it's legal but if they catch you buying it some type of weird way you can still be put underneath the jail cell because there's no legal way to actually purchase the oil so it's 
when they talk about weed and actually making it legal, there's a lot of loopholes, and that's what the state of California and states like Nevada actually struggled for the first parts of it being legalized over there. And also another thing I think the Georgia lawmakers are really scared of is the cultivation or the growth of marijuana. How would it be grown? Of course, if people gonna make it legal for marijuana use, then I'm pretty sure they're gonna try to grow it eventually somewhere in Georgia. And I think that's what lawmakers are really scared of. They don't want uh, these places, these woods that turn into uh, marijuana fields because marijuana grows just as fast as cotton, believe it or not. And, you know, you can do a lot of things with it and you can make a lot of money with it. So there's a lot of fines and just jail time for just even trafficking it or growing it. You know, you still can't grow it. Like I said, marijuana is very illegal in the state of Georgia. Just the city of Atlanta is just making some progress as far as making it legal. And I'm pretty sure other cities like this will follow up, like Augusta, Columbus, Macon. I'm pretty sure the other cities will follow. But that's all the news that I have for right now. Hopefully you guys enjoy 420 edition. Got blunt? Got weed? Man, that shit smell good as hell, dog. I'm Jamal. Peace, Silas. So you trying to get something to bring them nerves down too, huh, bro? Yeah, I figured if I study high, take the test high, get high scores. <laughs> right? Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs>